Hey guys, how you all doing? It's BTG here, and welcome to part two, the 2016 version of How Do You Share Factory on the PlayStation 4. Now, uh, today I'm going to be going over uh, again on how to do uh, Share Factory, how to edit, how to do all that stuff. Uh, Share Factory actually added some new things uh, over the year. It's actually almost been one year since I posted my last Share Factory tutorial, and that has two thousand views on it i can't thank you guys enough on how many views i got on that uh and that's why i'm doing a part two to help you guys even more uh for the people who are getting a ps4 this christmas or have gotten a ps4 uh over the year so uh yeah let's just get started into the video so uh there's a new menu that pops up every uh the, every single time you start it up now um last time was a little bit different but it had the pretty much the same things you have new project my projects which is the stuff you did before uh, your last project so if you didn't save you can go back in my gallery which is all your videos you got live from PlayStation events in PlayStation from your social in the store which you can download themes which are uh, interesting stuff that I'll explain in a little bit so for this episode we're going to uh, click on new project and this is where um, I actually got some questions on uh, I'm actually looking at my old video right now and one of the questions was how do you uh, download your intro into share factory well I don't think you can actually download uh, an intro like one you made on the computer but you can down uh, like download some from the PlayStation store so like here like this one just came out recently it's the countdown racing theme uh, retro uh, top 10 theme uh, you got all these which are uh, pretty good but if you want to make your own uh, just let me know down in the comments if you guys want me to make a video on how to make your own intro on chair factory that looks pretty decent but uh, for this episode we're just going to do uh, countdown racing theme but if you guys want your uh, intro in the video uh, uh, you keep this on if you don't you uncheck these by just clicking X all over them but for this uh, video, we're going to keep these on to show you guys. So I don't really have any videos that are good to uh, that I recorded. So I'm just going to select uh, this video that I sent to my friend. Uh, after you get to select me, you can name it, but I'm not going to. I'm just going to click continue. And once you get to this screen, you can watch the intro, which there's the intro. Uh, and then it gives you an outro. And then always at the end of every single uh, intro an outro there is the share factory uh, but I'm going to be deleting these uh, just for uh, showing you guys how to edit in detail so let me just delete these real quick and now we just have this uh, video that I got uh, I'm gonna go through each step for the plus down there the wrench and all the stuff down there on the bottom so don't even worry about it guys uh, I'm gonna have uh, sections in the description of what times I did the things so uh, yeah this is the first part for the uh, plus for the addition so in the video right here I'm just showing you guys uh, a knack on remastered the monac the which I'm gonna be trying to hit clips uh, and trick shots on on this game uh, but besides that point let's get to the editing so you can still add clips add screenshots now add track two, which is basically you go in it and you can add uh, you can add your voice into it like a voiceover, which I did for my last video. Uh, you could add music still. Uh, for this, uh, you download it, which I did a video on that before. Uh, if you don't have any downloaded, you can go all the way down to the bottom, and there will be. Uh, already downloaded music on here for you uh, but the ones that I that you download have the little smiley face right next to it but I'm not gonna do that right now uh, overlay which is the text and all that uh, you can add you can add the text which I'm going to explain how to do all that stuff right now uh, to make your text smaller and stuff I had some questions on this in my last video you just go over to the smaller text uh, I just use the bigger text because it looks more clean 
but if, if you guys want to use a smaller text add something in the bottom right hand corner left hand corner put your name or something you use this but for example I'm gonna use this uh, for the uh, text and stuff they added some new things so I'm just gonna put YouTube and there we go now once you type in whatever you want it will come up with transformation which transformation you'll be able to move around uh, tilt it do whatever you want we're just gonna place that right there uh, opacity I don't really worry about it's just how like how good you want it to be do you want it to be blended in in the background what do you want it to do color is the new thing they kind of added some more like colors and stuff uh, so like let's just make it green for right now uh, you could also do all this up here like, okay I'll make it red and I'll make it right there that looks pretty good all right then once you're done with that like I'm don't really worry about justify justify is it's it's pretty complicated I wouldn't even worry about it uh, most people don't really use this so edit text if you misspelled something uh, you can redo it delete text is obviously you can delete it but for right now I'm actually going to put this over here and then you double tap circle to get rid of it uh, add filter this is actually pretty cool um, you can add different types of filters you could add photo filters which like you make a black and white game filters retro filters and psychedelic filters so uh, right now for an example we're gonna do the black and white which obviously makes it a black and white uh, feel free to use any one of these that you would like uh, I personally I don't really use these but for special effects I use the black and white layout this is how you would do the intro thing uh, if you guys want me to also like I said before do a new one or make a video on how to make an intro on share factory let me know uh, but this is what you would do uh, this is the one that you'd mostly use aspect 241 it like makes it sh uh, like shrink down to a movie screen like this which looks really really nice in my opinion but we're just gonna stick with it for right now uh, so that is done with the uh, adding stuff so on to the next section we are gonna do this splitting all that stuff so time bender it's a brand new feature they added in uh, between this video and my last tutorial on this you can slow down time so let's just say I want to slow down the neck to half what it normally is so let's go to right here it'll be really really slow this is what you do for like uh, slow motion seams and stuff so we'll just watch the knack there's the knack but yeah, I'm gonna change this back real quick to there but yeah that's uh, how you use uh, time better and stuff you could speed it up you could slow it down or you can keep the same uh, split clip obviously you can split it and delete some of it so let's just say I want to split it before like I mess up right here so I want to split that so I'll just split it right there and I can delete this so I just have this but uh, if you delete it it'll get rid of all the stuff you did previously so what I'd recommend you doing is delete or er, splitting the stuff before you uh, delete it and edit it so yeah there we go here's the split version which looks pretty nice uh, and then so for the next part we got the trim clip which obviously you can trim it down to however long you want it will show right there what time it's going to end so we'll do it to like right there that looks nice so here we go we got the knack I shoot and that's it all right pretty simple so you got move clip you got the delete clip clip volume what I mostly do is I lower it and I uh, like lower it and I add or I make the voice volume a lot louder so I can hear it better so we'll just do that edit overlays is editing the text and stuff if you have text up on the screen it will pop up and you'll be able to do everything that I just showed you guys in the last one the bar that popped up on the screen the opacity the color all that stuff it will pop up on the screen and then add transitions you can't really do that unless you have another clip so we're gonna add 
the other knack that I did which right here you add it and then we have this and then it'll automatically go to the other one which I did the knack but with a Dracon there we go but if I want to add it a, a really nice transition I'd go to add transition and I don't really like any of these personally uh, these all depend on which intro you pick but I mostly go to dissolve and do fade through color so it does the black fade like that it looks really really clean in my opinion uh, but again it's your guys's preference if you guys don't like that you feel free to do something else and then you guys got edit filter edit layout edit transition and edit track these are all based uh, these will all pop up individually if you guys have a filter have a layout have a transition we'll just go over the transition to edit it and once you go over it it will pop up the edit transition and then you can either delete it replace we'll just replace it through crossfade so see there you go I edited it that looks really really nice and that is pretty much it uh, for those like editing things that you ha have to have previously and then we have edit music so for the edit music part you also have to have music so let me just add this right here and for the editing music uh, make sure you're hovering over it or you can't use it you can split it so uh, let's just say I don't want it to be playing when my clips playing so I'll just split it right there and then I can also delete it from right here by clicking uh, square and confirm. Now it's going to be playing after. Uh, click circle. And then press square again. You can trim music, move it. So let me just, just move it back over here. So now I'll start playing throughout this whole thing. And then uh, I can delete it. The music volume is also what I do. I lower it to probably around 30, 30 to 40. Uh, percent to uh, the commentaries and stuff uh, fade in is obviously you uh, selected time so it'll do five seconds and it'll fade into uh, the end of this clip and then it will start playing the full um, amount of volume that you chose and then fade out is also how much time you want to start fading out so we'll go to the end and it'll start fading out about right here and then it'll start getting quieter and quieter until the end. But yeah, guys, this is pretty much it on uh, editing and stuff. Uh, if you guys want me to go into more detail on a certain subject, leave it down in the comments below. And I will do a video on that. Uh, and at the very end, to save your clip, you click Options. And you can either export to gallery or just save the project so you can go back in later. The generate thumbnail I probably would not do. Uh, if you have a computer, I'd recommend just go making one and adding it to your YouTube video. Because that is a lot simpler than generating the thumbnail. But yeah guys, this has been it. If you guys enjoyed, please leave a like on this video and subscribe. Comment what your best part of this video was and why I helped you guys on the most. Again, if you have anything that you want me to do, please tell me in the comments below and I will do that. Uh, sorry for not commenting on all your guys' comments. I've been really busy with school and obvious uh, stuff in my life. But I am trying to get back into YouTube and I've been really enjoying it. So thank you guys again for watching and I will see you guys next time. Peace.